So how much rain do you think we got last night? I don't know. All night. Hard all night. And the forecast today is what? Rain. A lot. And you're not flying today because of Hard. why? All day. Rain. <laughs> Yeah, what a storm. We if you just look at the fork or look at the radar, it's like tropical storm, tropical storm, tropical storm, tropical storm. So we're just getting back to back to back with maybe like maybe a half a day between right now. Been one heck of a spring, that's for sure. Good news is everything turned green last night or yesterday. So we got green all around us now. Everything's not like death brown. That's true. But that also means like in one week it's going to be a foot tall and we'll have to start doing something about it. So we better hurry. Yeah. I think today will be a good day, even if we don't make a ton of headway, I think we can do a lot of prep work um, and kind of work you and I. I feel like I didn't even see you hardly no. yesterday. We were we were just two ships passing in the night. Um, yeah, and then we have some friends coming. Uh, we'll see how much energy they have. We're a little tired. Um, I think it's just poor sleep, not lack of sleep, just poor sleep. And we'll see if we can get maybe get this north wall finished, maybe. Not trying to be overly ambitious here, but let's see. Yesterday when we were putting our panels together, we were doing a lot of hitting them with a sledgehammer and a lot of them were just bouncing despite having maybe maybe a quarter inch gap in some of, uh, some of them, which means some of our panels weren't fitting together by say a quarter of an inch. If they're a quarter inch apart each, you would see how it would grow over the length of your wall. Like with anything, we decided to start measuring like crazy. Long story short, what we found is that some of these splines we need to be taking about half an inch off. And that should allow these panels to seat properly. But we don't have to do that for every spline. We have to measure the inlet and see what that is, as well as the inlet of the receiving end. So as with anything, what we're learning is that materials do come more or less to a specific dimension, but you still have to measure and somewhat scribe fit your materials. So our receiving inlet of the next panel is an inch and three quarters. So we've made an inch and three quarters spacer. So in theory, this should allow the sips to seat perfectly. What we were doing was we were just doing a standard two inch tab. So if our inlet was an inch and three quarter on the receiving panel, you would see that we would be forced to have a quarter inch gap. And no matter how hard we'd pound, we wouldn't close the gap. So even though we have a few of those on our panel so far, we're gonna correct the issue now. We'll rip them down with a circular saw just to remove any headaches. I think when we want, when we put these panels up there, we want them just to we do. suck right together and stop instead of fighting whatever we're fighting. And I'm now I'm a hundred percent sure it's the spline. So let's just again that. things that you don't think you need to measure, but you do. Yeah, it's a four inch spline with a two inch inlet. What could go wrong? Are we ready to go up? Yeah, let's do some install. We'll get the door framed and then we'll move this guy up. That's gonna be the test to see if the four of us yeah. ever can get it up there. Give or take, if we can do that, we're unstoppable and we'll have a north wall. That'll be really exciting. Before LF30. How's that? Okay, do a lot now. That went way too well. So we're actually not putting all these sip screws in. We're pretty much only putting in one per panel because we found 
And even that, we're not screwing it in all the way because we found that it makes it not easy to attach the next panel. But that should be fine. Pretty much, once this entire wall is done, we can come back and screw like crazy. And I have to say that ripping down our splines made the sand panels seat perfectly. So for the top and the bottom, you need an eight foot piece and a four foot piece. So go two eights and two fours. Oh, okay. A furring? Yeah. Okay. And So the trick to the bottom one is this spacer right there. And we're setting this, this is top, so it goes like that. We'll start just a couple of screws. Oh, I guess if you just want to line it up with that one, that would be pretty easy. And then that end, we'll just do eight and a half, huh? Right about there. Uh, actually, bring your end down. Okay, got it. And I'll need the impact too. So the last piece that we need is about, um, we'll call it uh, 38 and a half. You want to catch that? <laughs> Pop the bit first. <laughs> yeah, ready? Here, that's good. Oh. Yep, watch fingers. Okay, coming to me. And keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Ah, good. good. We're doing a two-person test, Carrie. Yeah, you ready? Uh, it's, so. I don't know that your strength is symbolic of my strength, though, so if we really want to be fair, you and I will carry, and then Roman and Anna will bail us out. <laughs> so what we actually need to do, Roman, is we actually need to carry it on this side. It's like you're tipping it, maybe? Are you tipping it? No? That looks manageable. Can you watch behind me in case I'm going to hit yes. rocks or something? Tell me what's going on. Hill behind you there. We move the tree? Tree branches. <laughs> I should be like rock, 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 rock. Really rocky. It's a tree root. Going in. Push out. Push out. Push out. out. Oh. There you go. Good. Oh man, we are about to get wailed on. Look at that wall of rain. Wow. Trees are starting to wobble. Who am I kidding? They've been wobbling for an hour. So far, this is going a lot better than yesterday. We've kind of figured out some of the constraints with moving the panels up. We just kind of, we're getting better and better and better at it. So the last panel, we had three people carrying it, which kind of took the load off the back person because when you're going up that hill, that downhill person's lifting a lot of weight as they're pushing that panel up the hill. Um, and then we've got a pretty good system once we get up there. So we're gonna knock out the prep on the rest of the north wall. We've got enough room to do that. And then I think, let's see, we need to get a little more furring up there. Um, looks like they're working on that right now. And then we should be able to get these final panels. And then we're gonna see how that works itself out once we get to that last post. In fact, I think I might just go measure the panels and see where we're going to end up. Oh, wow. Here it comes.
26 and a half. We should be getting rainbows. Soon, we need to mutiny. You can't drown us and then blast us with sun and not give us rainbows, Mother Nature. Oh, 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 it's trying. I can see it. Not a very good one. Mother Nature, you tease. You tease. You need a tape measure? Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Can I have it back later? If I remember. Hey, yeah, the insides are pretty easy. It's just a bunch of bunch of wood screws basically. You must have heard all the whimpering and whining out here. What do you got there? I have a double bergamot. Is that how you say it? Earl Grey latte for you. What the heck is that? And then everyone else gets jazz. Jasmine. Can you believe that we've gone through over half a bucket so far? I'm pretty sure that's just on the north wall. That is absolutely insane. I think in some crazy world we were hoping that these would last us. Mm, pretty much the entire project. Yeah. So I think we're deciding to foam these. Yep. East and west. On the midget panels, yep. And splines east and west. Yep, bingo. Which means this doesn't need any foam or any splines, but it will need lumber. On the east face, and then it gets a lumber spline on the west face. So this is our end panel. So we're at 19 and a quarter, and this one is a four footer, I think. Yep. And what goes in between this one? This one's 25 and a half. We were trying to figure out where are these panels going to terminate? We're in by a quarter of an inch. Nice. That's how much gap there's going to be. And we gave that ourselves an inch. And I'll tell you what's going to happen. I don't think they make precision like that we, <laughs> We're going to actually go over because that's the exact dimension of these panels. Mm -hmm. So if we fudge it by another quarter, by putting all these panels up, which is going to happen because they're never going to be perfect, right? We're probably going to be right at the edge of the post. We worked with Shelter on this plan. They advised us to hold the corners back and the walls back and the roof back one inch, thinking, hey, if the panels grow at all, you're good. You don't have to trim and modify the panels. I'll be darned, they were right. What we've seen is that the inside skin is touching. They're actually squeezed tight and the outside skin is gapped a quarter of an inch. I don't know if we're actually growing or not, but it stands to reason that we are. So across the entire floor, or across this entire wall, we will have taken up the entire inch that we gave ourselves. Right now the panels measure a termination of 92 and 3 quarters. There will probably be a quarter of an inch in these panels. I have a hunch these panels are going to terminate right at the edge of the post. In the last hour, we have had bright sunlight twice and a straight downpour twice. And it looks like we've had another downpour about 10 minutes out. I don't know if Alyssa and I've shared this in a video before, but we've kind of talked about how things went before the timber framing workshop, the, the timber workshop and how stressful it was. But in a weird way, not to like be all overly positive and stuff, we feel like in a way that hard, hard, hard deadline, knowing that people are coming from all over the country was good for us because we've learned, especially where we are in Idaho, that if you're a fair weather home builder, you'll never get your house built. You're gonna have to build an in inclement weather. And in a way that kind of helped us because all last summer it was a hundred plus degrees and we had to keep moving. And then when the rains came and the snow came, we had to keep moving. And we've talked to other people who didn't have a hard deadline like that, owner builders, and they, they agree that the project kind of drags out. Like you don't really have a reason to go work in the rain and sleet and snow, so you don't. Can't argue with that. So in a way, 
we feel like having a deadline helps keep you motivated. And we feel like those, those folks who came from all over the country, you were our motivation. I think our goal is to finish the north wall and then in my opinion, that's probably where we'll stop. Yeah, I think we, this, we can get this done. We got a later start, but it'd be nice to go out and enjoy time with company. Yeah. Good garlic burger. Let's be honest about why Roman. And right? Can. That's what I said. So it has to rain a lot for you to not want those tempura mushrooms. They, that, I was like, they're coming. They must really want the mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I might need help getting a six incher up there, maybe. I cannot believe how good it feels to be a quarter done with the lower walls. Having one full wall almost done, like, I can't even put in words what it feels like to be standing in our home with the walls on. I did have that feeling when we first put the frame up. It was very powerful. I think seeing the walls up just really reinforces in my mind that we are close to having a home. We're doing it, without a doubt. And all I can think is all the really great memories we'll build under this roof. It's also a little scary to see how the window and the door placements are starting to pan out because I designed them and picked them as best I could and it looks great in our 3D mock-ups, but you never know until you're looking at it in the flesh. Uh, I need to put that last piece on. Here. Yeah. Six. Can I have that impact? Yes. And then, can you put some screws in that four inch? Yeah, this one has the wrong bit on it. Who's carrying? Who's not Astrid, carrying? maybe? I'm not can you sure. carry that then? Okay, you guys gotta stabilize. Okay. Why do I miss that three years ago? Oh, go a little slow through here, please. I'm like walking over boulders. You're on your own for holding it. I can't support anymore. Nice. Thanks. You want me to tap? Yeah, just down. Down? Okay. I need a piece of wood. Thanks. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah. Yep. I think you're pretty close now. You're good. You bottomed out. Okay. I was waiting for the mallet to slip out of your hand. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's sitting on the lip. <laughs> Going? Yep. Good. Going good. Half inch. The screw is holding it, so. Half. Quarter. Eight, sixteen, done, done. Tight. Up goes the top of the window. Top of the window. This is a two by two window. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. About there. Okay. Wow, here comes another bout of rain. Goodness. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a rainbow touching down on that field over there. And I am just going to be ecstatic if we can get a rainbow over our timber frame before the walls are up. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Snug as a bug in a rug? So good. Wow. I like it. And then I need to go this way. Check in as length cuttingness. 
come my way a little bit. We just <laughs> might get room in the garlic it's burger like before the restaurant down. closes. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be just like the last one where this darn piece of lumber sticks out. That's funny because the lumber is like inch and a half on the dot, but whatever. Last panel on the north wall. Man down! Wow. Pretty crazy. We have to take our photo. <laughs> I dropped a screw. We all dropped the screw at the same time. That's a new dance move. Drop the screw. Drop the screw. <laughs> That's pretty much all dancing is, don't you know? Except you drop the screw and then you gotta like look for it for a while. Exactly. <laughs> and I dropped the screw like right in front of you. Right. Oh, <laughs> drop the screw in front of that. We're looking for a screw up here. <laughs> Ready, strike a pose. Yeah. We killed it today. Not bad for a half day, figuring that took us all day. Great. Right. Well, there's a little, little tiny pieces on that side, I swear. Yeah, and we had some issues with those panels and whatnot, yeah. yeah. But three full panels. I think we got that down to a pretty good routine. And yeah. now we've got another door and another window. Yeah. And we have one full wall. How much money you want to bet Buggy has probably already been in that window? You think? Um, I don't think he has. You don't think so? No. It won't be long. I'm sure he's been up here like sniff, sniff, sniffing around. Oh yeah. Won't be long before you see kitty prints running around in there. I think on that note, we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. I think we're working on this tomorrow. Is that right, Jesse? If I don't fly to the moon. Jesse might be flying, but so far, flight lessons coincide with rainstorms, like guaranteed. <laughs> Yeah, so if you want to know if it's so, raining, just call and ask me if I'm flying and I'll tell you if it's raining or not.